Boy, I hope everybody saw those cuts I was doing. Damn, because this studio mode, I'm not sure about that. I want I want people to see this really quick. Oh my love! This is my stuff. She had there it is. Oh, you see, it's all there too. You people can lit twelve years ago. That's my old rev. That's the old rev, and there's my stuff in the back, and somebody has that now. But anyway, we'll let that go. Back to the cam, and here you go, Queen. Address the folks. There we go. Hi, Shanty. Hope you're doing well. Hi, guys. Thing. What's up? I'm happy you're here. Yeah. Were you guys seeing those transitions when I was doing them? Because I, I had studio mode on. That might have nullified all the... That sucks. I'm not sure. I'll have to look back and see if it was working. I'm not sure on studio mode. There's, it's, you got different stuff with OBS. I'm still learning, kind of. Really? All right. Ooh, now. it's getting blurry. There you go. You did it. There you go. So how are you feeling? You feeling good? Better? E Rested? Yeah. That's good. <laughs> the third wheel in the back seat, because Shanny's driving, I'm in the passenger seat, and we got Yoshi back here, and he's doing all right. He's all right. Yeah. Put him a little bit over here. He's, he's definitely feeling okay. You want me to send you my hair from my brush, hairbrush? Oh. Okay. What are you going to do with it, Dashton? I don't know. There'd be a... I have a long lock of hair that I could give you, Dashton. <laughs> I do. I saved it because Shanny's like, you probably sell that. I'm like, okay. Why not? It's not bad biological material. It's a traveling chair. <laughs> I love you, Dashton. He's awesome. Yeah, I was going to do my chart tonight, Dashton. I'm sorry. That I haven't done that yet. I am going to do that soon. I promise. You're still here, Bailey. No one's blocked you. I'm not even touching anything, really. Um, yeah, this is. I was just me solo because you were resting. Thank you, Bailey. Uh, <laughs> Yoshi, that's right. I, I just want to give a little testimony about unplug them with me. Go ahead. That's phenomenal. Um, a few years ago, before me and Jason got together, I was living in my mother's house and she was seriously getting to that abusive cycle of what she does she like love bombs you and you know the cycle of abuse she does that or she did that she's now passed but uh i was in a tough situation and jason was like let me let me have unplug him pray for you and i'm not kidding with like two days my whole life changed because of him See? and i think i think there was like two prayers he did in different situations where it just it just works yeah he's a he's a good prayer warrior it's the truth i'll say that um he, he's a warrior for christ and and his voice is so gentle and beautiful and like he has experience with the music business and yeah you know i i i have experience in the model in business but they're both intricately like like this the model in music the whole industry uh acting um and there's some there's some moments where i'm pretty sure they drugged me i don't know what they gave me but I remember, like, just feeling blurry and out of my mind and, like, I don't know. It, I hate it was weird, but... You're being real. I don't remember certain things. It's like well, I they probably blacked out in the middle of it. They probably drugged you. But I was, like, 13 years old, and I was, like, in a room full of naked women, but, like, felt, like, drugged. Like, at 13, I didn't know any difference. Maybe I thought I was tired. But now, like, I look back at it and I'm like, I was 13 years old. Being naked in a room full of women and having these men look at you, that's so fucked up. It's messed. And this is what the industry did. I was uh, 
it, at John Casablanca's got discovered at the Southern Women's Show in 1996. Um, <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what the Southern Women's Show is, uh, it's basically this like event where they have all these uh, companies come together and they give you like f freebies and stuff. I think you pay like, or you used to, like $20, $15 to get in. But John Casablanca was there this that year, and I went with my uh, my friend Rachel, and he discovered me there, and then I started working for the agency. Um, okay. You know, and I... How I, long were you with them, Shan? About six months. Okay. So it wasn't just a little gig. You you were with the six months. That's not a yeah. Thing. I was mostly doing like runway and malls and um, a, a few picture situations. You know, it's like it, it's like when they're taking your pictures. For instance, I was thirteen. Let me just say that headshots. Yes, John Casablanca. Uh, He's intricately involved with Epstein. Yeah, uh, I know. I know Jessalyn Maxwell. Uh, you met her, she, right? She's you, one you, of the agents. Yeah, at John Casablanca's. Yeah, he's really close to this stuff. Guys. Um, to to me, it's like she was a nice lady, right? You know, she's very like mom like and just, you know, yeah, nurturing. You almost have sort of a semi positive experience with her, right? She was yes. like a mom kind of. Deal. Yes. Very nurturing woman. That was that was love bond. That was to get you in it, right? Yeah. To be a good little slave for Epstein someday. But they drug you, and you don't know what's happening, and then you wake up, and you're like, oh. I remember, like, I, I got in that room full of women. I, like, blacked out. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing I know, I'm driving home with my mother, and I'm, like, barely keeping my eyes up. And she's like, okay, that's it. You're not doing this again. Wow. So I don't know what happened. I really don't. But something happened, and it pissed off my mother. Wow. And you don't want to piss that woman off. No. Um, I know that. But... See you in heaven, Ma, I guess. I don't know what they did to me. Wow. I don't. I just remember just being gone and then waking up in my mother's car. Wow. See, this is why regression therapy would be good for both of us. I Probably. Because when you get traumatized, you black out certain things. Yeah. It's to protect you, like your psyche, right? Yeah, I changed after that event, though. In what way? I got more rebellious, more angrier, more, like, more teen angsty, I guess. Okay. Okay. I, I, I like, but I... But see, I always thought it was like I was mad at my mom for taking me out of the industry. Right. You thought that, that you were going to have an, a real career a day. I did. It was my dream. It was always my dream. Like, I always, like, looked at Vogue magazine. Linda and Evangelista. I, Linda Evangelista is my favorite model. Um, you want to be a part of it. Yeah. Sophia Loren is another one I loved. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, My dad liked her. Isabella Rosalini. I loved her. Blue Velvet. Uh, Sorry. Um, but, like, I've, I've been part of the industry. I've seen the dark side of it. I've seen the good side of it. Like, they really, like, when, I'm t when they're taking your pictures, for instance, and they're like, oh, you're so sexy, you're beautiful. Ooh, put that ass out a little bit. You know, me up. Turn it up, you know, you know. <laughs> uh, like, well, the thing is, it's like they're talking to you in such a sexual manner and you're 13. But at the same time, it's, it's, it, you're 13, it's turning you on. So. Build your confidence. It does. It. Yeah. It does. Build your, that's, and that's not negative. But 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 why? But talking to a thirteen-year-old yeah, like that—that's right. Why are they doing it? Yeah, it's to indoctrinate your mind into thinking, yeah, I can do sex at thirteen, right? 
which is yeah, not Yeah, I advisable. lost my virginity a year after, so. 14. Or what I think I lost my virginity. Who knows? There's, there's things in my past that are really weird. Um, I'll just say to the laughing, whoever's laughing at this is a demon. You that's think a, I'm lying? That's I'm a, not lying. Why would I say this? That's a digital demon. <laughs> A digital demon in real time. You see it laughing? Yeah. You think this is funny? You're going to burn in hell. <laughs> You're going to burn in hell, I promise. Yeah, you think it's funny that a 13-year-old got... Sexualized and manipulated. Yeah. You're a sick <sighs> sack of shit that would laugh at that. So keep hitting the emoji because you're an idiot. Go ahead. Keep doing it. No. I you're, was... I, there's... I was molested as a child, okay? I, I know I was. Me too. Uh, but it's like, the industry, they push this. I mean, look at all these, look at all these movies. Um, these teeny bopper movies. And it's always, it's always the teenagers trying to get fucked. Trying yeah. to get laid. You're right. You know, you, you're you're looking at what's presumably 15, 16 years old, and they're sexualizing these 15, 16-year-old girls and these boys, um, pushing it to teenagers, like like a Teen Bop or, you know, all those magazines <coughs> of, oh my God, Jonathan Taylor. Uh, JTT. Uh, JTT, yeah. yeah. He was one of those sexualized people. Definitely. Um, you know, like Johnny Depp, sexual, like, pushing sex constantly at teenagers. Yep. Um, like, you you look at uh, iCarly, there was that element there. Or Victorious, there was an element for that, too. Uh, like, even in Disney, they have that stuff, that, like, sexualization of teenagers. Definitely. And uh, there's always a romance theme to it. Uh, they want to destroy innocence. Right. And corrupt it. And I was corrupted as a teenager by the industry. I got out of it, thank God. I mean, this was during the Lolita... Express. Express times, okay? I could have wow. easily gotten to uh, Epstein Island. Pleasure Island. Yeah. Yeah. You were a step away from it. I was that close. Uh, that's one thing I'm grateful to my mother. Yeah. Is taking me out of the industry. Oh, amen. She did the work of God there. Yeah. I think she knew I was drugged. They gave me to her <clears throat> drugged. Here's your daughter. She's passed out. Oh, my God, dude. Wow. She's like, what the hell is this? What the fuck did you do to my daughter? Yeah, like... Wow. <sighs> Guys, if there's some big interviewer out there, like, she could tell you your story. That's unbelievable. You are literally one step away from Epstein. Because you knew, you knew Jesley Maxwell. That's and John Casablanca. Right. And he's tied in with the network. Well, the thing is, back in that day, <laughs> if you were discovered by John Casablanca... You were the it girl. Right. They saw a potential of a celebrity in you. Right. Um, you know, you're just naturally a performer, naturally, you know, talented. Like, it, that's one thing. These people, they do see talent, but they destroy your mind. Even though you have such amazing talent, they destroy your mind. I mean, like... <laughs> Go ahead. Take your time. Just think about it. Just think about it. I mean, look at Jaguar Wright. Mm. You know, you look at her when... In the early 90s with her music and her eyes were... Were soft. You know, you look at her now and, you know, she's got that face of pain and trauma. Like, right here. If you have, like, marks oh, right here yeah. and then three lines up here. That's the look of trauma. It's like etched in my face. The look of trauma. 
I never had that before. But I've gone through so much in my life that I have it. And honestly, to tell you the truth, I personally think once you've been part of the industry, they never let you go. They're always watching you. There's been times where I've seen white vans traveling along. The the authorities have been in and out of my life constantly. You know, always always going for these psych checks, these wellness checks, always always being mentally fucked with always and it seems like the whole world hates you and it's like i just want to be loved i don't want to be hated i don't want to be traumatized but that's how they make their money like like kanye west said it they they uh they basically traumatize you and then profit off it because trauma, drama, amazing. They're very similar words. Trauma, drama. Yeah. It makes money. It makes money. And... I just... I'm just grateful I survived everything I did. And I'm here today, and I'm not into the industry per se. I guess kind of, sort of, still I am. Um, YouTube. With YouTube. Huh. Um, but they know my face. They know who I am. And... There's nothing I can do about it. Like, once they have a grasp on you, they're always going to have a little grasp on you. They're always going to be like, are you going to tell on us? Um, so, like, that, that, that's my story on the industry. Jason has other, uh, uh, you know, he's been involved in the industry, too, in radio and stuff. So, like, mm -hmm. he's got a touch of that stuff, too. Well... And, and, and he's watched as well. <clears throat> oh, yeah. When I, I... I got a story about that. When I, um... When I purchased my firearms, one of them was an M1 Garand, and it had to be sent to a, a firearm star, store. They would not send it to a private address. So I was driving to get that, and as I was crossing, I was going under the bridge to Scranton, I was right at the place to get it, a black helicopter literally buzzed my car. It came, it came, I saw it in the distance, I'm like, that's weird, it's really low, and they literally went right by my car, and I saw the guy in the window, and he went like this to me. We're watching you. The industry, yes, the media industry. Yeah, it, it, it's intricately let linked to the military industrial complex too. That's pr I mean they do propaganda for them. Yeah, it's all about blood, money, sex, exploitation of minors, debauchery. Uh, yes, it's all about Satan and having his little grasp on the world. They feed off of sex energy somehow. I don't understand that, really. It's a great power, sex. I don't understand that. But uh, you, you could get a lot of energy from sex. Tantric and all that stuff. I, yeah. I don't understand that, really. It's because there's an exchange of powers. Right. So if you're good at being an energy vampire, you could suck someone's energy through sex. I felt... I felt... It's interesting. Very interesting. You want to go back to unplug them, or you want to... Sure.